hi there this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of gemini hi gemini's this is going to be for the mid month of september so from the middle to the end of the month take it as it resonates okay this is for sun moon rising venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the gemini all right let's see what we have for you guys hmm attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and it's flowers look at her she's smelling the roses today i am wearing roses pink roses just like this card i have a gemini rising so i find that interesting attraction here in this particular card talks about stopping to smell the roses it's about being in the present moment it's about stop new love a new person is due to romantic feelings so when this, excuse me, let's go back. When you're in this energy, being in the present moment, being totally, utterly grateful, not feeling lack, not being a victim, doing your shit, right? Being at the very highest vibration of self-love. You attract in someone with that same vibration. New love's coming in. But it's also about stopping to smell the roses and enjoying this new love that's coming in as well. You know, it's about not overthinking it. Geminis overthink. They are going to break it the fuck down if they're an air sign. <coughs> we know Libras do this. Virgos do it, even though they're Earth. Scorpios do it. Point of the matter is, is when it comes, you don't want to almost dilute the power of what it is. By breaking it down, by saying, well, you know what? By, by coming up with a logical explanation for the absolute wonderfulness that's about to embark, <laughs> embark in your life or has already come in. Pisces, the moon. So some of you, it is a Pisces. For some of you, it's the moon energy about intuition. It's about dream state, right? The subconscious, but it's also about hidden emotions. The problem here is that if you meet a person and then clam the fuck up, you're not in alignment, not the highest vibration. Let's see, look, the moon again, that's twice. This is divine feminine, right? The moon though, fantasy, subconscious, romance, intuition, sensuality, divine feminine. This is a message to the divine feminines. When it comes, don't climb up. Trust your intuition. Sometimes it's a wolf in sheep's clothing too, yeah? A red flag's a red flag. We don't make excuses for red flags. We do not make excuses for fuckery. You have balance. Being balanced. Being centered. That is this. It comes when we are in this vibration. It's also about feeling balanced. Something about feeling it. Some of you guys are doing yoga. Some of you guys have been purging. See, freeing yourself. Ball and chain, freeing yourself. You're no longer like this, right? Or no longer feeling trapped or restricted or attached. You are balanced, centered. Mortar and pestle alchemy but it also says breaking things down making something else if it comes in and you climb up you create red flags or if it's a red flag you try and create a pink flag you try and hide it it's changing something whatever that would be whether changing something from good to bad or bad to good i don't know With this particular mid-month September, there will be an extended version that you can purchase by clicking below. Holy shit, the lily. Established, experienced, longevity, mature. See, you, you're ripe. You're fully bloomed, yeah? The roses, the flowers. You're fully bloomed. You already know what a red flag looks like. You already know. You'll be fine, right? And if you don't think you'll be fine, then you better go and, and, and read your notes again. We've been down this road. 
it's like something really extremely gorgeous and wonderful and powerful comes in and instead of you enjoying it whether it's only going to be there for five minutes or for forever enjoy it not oh oh but how long is it gonna be here though but mm. judgment surrender that's all i see there's all these different words yeah rebirth transformation blah blah, blah 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 all i see is surrender someone's trying to run from love because i just got into this frequency and being comfortable and being okay being single i just started to get the hang of this and now love dare come well of course it comes when you're not looking but it also is because you're the right vibration right it comes via the path of least resistance the path of least resistance is when your ass ain't looking shit the wolf white wolf excuse me believing in your power confidence that's this whole stopping to smell the roses energy that experience with the lily yeah and then the hanged man it's enlightenment you are different you're fully bloomed you can recognize a fuck face compared to a non-fuck face <laughs> in other words Some of you, you're afraid because of the third party situation from the past, see? Look, and the tower underneath it. This was, it, it rocked your world in the past. Someone chose someone else over you, or you were the third party, you were the mistress, you were the side salad, right? Turned your world upside fucking down. But that's how this growth happened, is because you learned from this. You're not gonna get sucked back up into that again, right? because we've learned our lesson. We know what it looks like. Look at your energy coming in hot. The lovers, Gemini, making a decision. What are you gonna decide? Are you gonna decide that you're gonna ruin this? The problem with this is it's so powerful. And it came when you didn't see it coming. And that's what's a little bit like mm. the albatross, a good sign or omen, baggage, burdens. See, that's this. You cannot let the past shit affect the future. See, this has got to go. See, that's this. We let this go, right? This holds us back. You let this go. We become balanced. We hit that higher frequency and, and vibration and boom our life starts to change. We start to attract in, for some of you, a man. And some of you a woman, right? But you know, a man's very strongly making his presence known here, a love interest, masculine, but it's a man. Because masculine can be either male or female, right? Gender wise, but this feels like a dude, could be a, a, an Aquarius, or you are the Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. So you have here, card of hope but you want to know what this also is about detachment he comes in whoop, she starts to detach immediately whoop. well because in the past i i chose wrong and in the past i had my heart broken and in the past this and in the past that but is this the motherfucking past well i didn't think so positivity you've got to stay in that vibration we're not stupid we're not delusional we're not going to bury our head in the sand if we see a red flag but we also are not going to sit there and create it sit there and hope for it wait for it wait for the other shoe to drop we're not going to do that we're going to stay in an energy of positivity and like i said we're going to enjoy it whether it's five minutes or five years or forever this gorgeous beautiful energy comes in and you cross paths with it how fucking amazing right why do we do that? Why do we ruin it by what is it? What does it have to be? When's it going to be? How long? Move forward. Even if it's just for a day, for an hour, for a lifetime. Let it be what it's meant to be. So important. 
letting it be what it's supposed to be. Let it be what it's meant to be. Bottom of the deck is fucking love. This is love. Holy shit. It's literally letting this be what it's meant to be, which is a love connection, specifically new love. Now it will feel very old because obviously it's past life soulmates, right? So it's gonna have this feeling to it of like, damn, but it's like I feel comfortable. It feels like I know them. Well, because duh, you do from past life, even if you've never met them before in this life. It's just surrendering to this feeling. Is it romantic love? Could be. Is it just gonna only be non-romantic, platonic love? Well, it could be that too. But does it matter? What about if you just enjoy it? If it doesn't have red flags, if it feels like it's meant to be in the moment right now, then just fucking feel it. Don't ruin it is the point. It's the whole clamming up thing, you know? Don't clam up. I'm gonna do, see my nose is going crazy. I'm gonna do the Moonology cards and then we're gonna head to this extended. You can click on the link below to purchase it. I wanna thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you have TikTok, follow me there. It's the same handle as my Instagram. And if you wanna book a reading with me, click on the link below. All of my information is there. You guys have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. That's that sun and that moon coming together. All of the pieces come together when the sun and the moon reunite. And then you have look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sag. This is coming together and what is? It's the fucking divine masculine, divine feminine because divine masculine is the sun. Divine feminine is the, the moon. Sun and the moon coming together is the eclipse. Holy fuck. You guys have believe in the impossible blue moon. You know the whole saying, once in a blue moon, only only in a blue moon? That's that kind of love and connection right here that some of you are getting. And it's sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. I can feel it. It's not just only Gemini sun signs. Really, it's for the people that did the work, that are in that high vibration, right, of stopping to smell the roses. That's the people it's going to be for. So if you didn't do that, then it ain't you, boo. All right, you guys, follow me. Um, Click on the link so we can go and do this extended, okay? I'll see you guys later, fellow Geminis. Love you guys, bye.